Welcome to Maths Easy. Hello friends, as there is always a need of help in calculating or solving mathematics questions on different levels. I am here for the same. Today in this video, I am going to solve chapter rational numbers of class 7. Exercise 4.1. Question number 3. So if you guys want to see the solution of earlier chapters of class 7 maths book, the chapters are integers, fractions, decimals, linear equations, you can go by the playlist where all the solution videos are available. Moreover, I have solved many chapters of class 8 maths book of same publication house. The name of the chapters are rational numbers, square and square roots, exponents, cube and cube roots, playing with numbers, linear equations in one variable, percentage and its applications. Algebraic expressions, factorization of algebraic expressions, probability, surface area and volume, quadrilaterals and so on. So if you guys want to see the solution of those chapters, you can go by the playlist. So let's check it out how to solve question number 3 of exercise 4.1 class 7 chapter rational numbers. So in here question number 3. We have to write three rational numbers equivalent to the given options. So first is given as 4 by 5. So we have to find out the three equivalent rational numbers of 4 by 5. For finding out the three equivalent rational numbers of 4 by 5, we can multiply both the numerator and denominator with same number. like we can multiply numerator and denominator by 2 by 2. So it will be coming out to be as 4 to the 8 and 5 to the 10. So it is equivalent fraction of 4 by 5. It is the first equivalent fraction of 4 by 5. We can take any number but we have to multiply numerator and denominator both for that number. So next equivalent fraction we can take as minus 1 minus 1 so it will be coming out to be as minus 4 by minus 5 it is another equivalent fraction third one is 4 by 5 we can take 5 by 5 so 20 by 25 so these three are equivalent fraction of 4 by 5 hope the question is clear if any type of doubt is there feel free to ask your doubts by commenting into the comment box so it was the answer so next number which is given to us for which we have to find the equivalent fraction is 3 by minus 7 so here we have to find equivalent fraction of 3 by minus 7 so, first equivalent fraction, second, and third, we can find out as many equivalent fractions as we want. So these three are the equivalent fraction of 3 by minus 7. These three are our answers. Let's come to the third part. Third part is given as minus 5 by 8. So first equivalent fraction of minus 5 by 8. Minus 15 by 24. Second. Five by minus eight is the 
second equivalent fraction and third five by five so it would be minus 25 so these three are equivalent fractions answer Let's move to the fourth part. Fourth part is seven by six. So first equivalent fraction of seven by six, we can take minus one by minus one. Minus seven by minus six. Second equivalent fraction. 4 by 4, 28 by 24, and third equivalent fraction, 5 by 5. So these three are the equivalent fraction of 7 by 6. This is our answer. Last part. Fifth part, we have to find the equivalent fraction of minus 11 by 12. So first equivalent fraction of minus 11 by 12 would be 11 by minus 12. Second equivalent fraction would be 22 by 24 and third equivalent fraction would be minus 33 by 36. So these three are the equivalent fraction of minus 11 by 12. Hope all the parts of question number three are clear. So it was all about how to find the equivalent fractions of the given rational numbers. So if you guys like my video or if it is some way helpful to you, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and share the videos as much as possible. Thank you so much.